creating a wave in this direction and we'll see how fast it goes. So what you have seen is actually a, a solitary wave. We are getting more now. You can see a lot more, which is coming from the same disturbance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's try it again. This time yeah. I'll try it by holding up the water for a bit. Of course, we'd really like a flat, wet a surface. I can honestly tell you I have never done this before, right? I just saw the channel and thought this is what we should get. I cannot teach you something mm. if I don't understand how it works. So I literally came out here, I was actually taking stones and dropping them in to create a disturbance. And then I got the... the quite so good. Mm -hmm. It kept its shape. We see these on a very shallow beach. Yeah. When the tide is coming in, we call them tidal bores. When the tide comes in and the beach shallows. Mm -hmm. But because it is so shallow, the non-linear effects of the sides and the bottom have a stronger role. We'll just do one more time, but we'll do it in the deeper end this time. It's not quite as flat, but we should still see something. by measuring the height, mm -hmm. seeing if the height was different here than it was over there, and seeing whether the speed was different. This is the sort of experiment we really like to do. We're not experimentalists, we're mathematicians, so we shan't do that. Okay, we can go inside now.